back to Yulon's channel. Today we'll be talking about plant-based vaccines and the battle against neurodegenerative diseases, NDDs, unraveling the potential co um, connections. So I'm today's lecturer, Yulan, and I hope this um, video will bring new insights um, to you on the treatment of neurodegenerative diseases. So yeah, let's begin. So some introduction, neurodegenerative diseases include a wide range of diseases that occur due to progressive damage to cells and nervous system connections, such as, such as Alzheimer's disease, Huntington's disease, Parkinson's disease, motor neuron disease, and more. Traditional treatment of neurodegenerative diseases often involves a combination of medication and psychotherapy. Despite the advancement made to slow down the symptoms in recent years, there is currently no cure for the prevention and treatment of neurodegenerative diseases. This lecture, this video, explores the potential connections between plant-based vaccines and these diseases, which could bring novel perspectives to the treatment options for NDDs. So some basics, uses, and history. So plant-based vaccines are created using recombinant recombinant technology involving the incorporation of the gene responsible for the target antigen protein into the plant genome. Plant-based vaccines represent a promising avenue for immunotherapy against neurodegenerative diseases. These vaccines involve antigenic formulations from transgenic plants expressing specific antigens, serving as immunogenic systems. Notably, plant-based vaccines offer unique advantages, including low production costs, high safety due to the absence of pathogens in plants, non-invasive oral immunization, no need for a cold chain, simple purification processes, and more. Additionally, unlike peptides synthesized in, eukaryo in eukaryotic expression systems, plant-derived recombinant, recombinant proteins often exhibit physiological activity due to natural post-translational modifications in plants. The application of plant-based vaccines in NDDs has primarily focused on Alzheimer's disease. Early studies demonstrated the potential use of this technology in AD prevention and treatment by expressing alpha-beta in transgenic potatoes and tomatoes. However, recent research indicates the versi versatility of these technologies for producing plant-made immunogenic antigens for other entities such as Parkinson's disease and multiple sclerosis. In the past decades, innovative plants um, uh, plant-based vaccines have been advancing rapidly to prevent the progression of several diseases, such as human papillomavirus and HPV infection, colorectal cancer, influenza, human immunodeficiency virus HIV, infection, polio, and more. In 2021, a phase 3 trial demonstrated the effectiveness and safety of a plant-based quadri quadrivalent, quadrivalent VLP vaccine for influenza in healthy adults. In addition, a 2022 phase 1 study confirmed the safety and immunogenicity of a plant-derived vaccine formulated with a recombinant um, protective antigen, RPA, against the bacillus Asrasis. These findings suggest that plant-based vaccines are progressing toward mar market entry, especially in response to the urgent need posed by the COVID-19 pand pandemic. The so growing interest is reflected in the market, with a global plant-based vaccine market estimated at 927 million US dollars in 2022, and the growth rate expected to be higher over the next six, six years. These trends reflect the substantial adv advancement in plant-based vaccine industry over the next decade, driving progress in development, improvement, preclinical pre and clinical testing, and the market entry of plant-based vaccines for neurodegenerative diseases and other prevalent human illnesses. So, emergent research on Parkinson's and vaccines. So, Parkinson's disease is a sinuclinopathy, part of a group of neurodegenerative diseases linked with misfolded alpha syn aggregates. PD, the second most prevalent NDD globally, the first is Alzheimer's disease, as you all know, results in dopaminergic neurodeaths, neuroinflammation, and the formation of Lewy bodies and Lewy neurites. PD leads to motor and non-motor sy symptoms, impacting over 6.1 million people. Currently, no cure exists, and available therapies focus on symptomatic relief. Plant-based vaccines offer a potential avenue to slow down progression. A study by Arevalo Villalobos et al., develop a plant-based vaccine expressing alpha syn epitopes in tobacco plants. The vaccine successfully induced anti-syn antibodies in mice. Another study extended this approach to carrot cells, demonstrating efficient LTBC in protein production with thermal stability. Already administered, administered to mice, this plant-based vaccine elicited a robust 
robust immune response against PD without requiring boost or cold storage, making it economically feasible for widespread distribution. However, future research should thoroughly explore the vaccine safety levels and long-term e efficacy. So what are some challenges, ethical considerations, and future prospects? Plant-derived vaccines represent an innovative category with significant therapeutic possibilities for diseases. While the development process has made substantial progress, it's still, there's still a demand for more effective gene delivery um, methods to obtain efficient, efficient and optimal vaccine production. It's crucial to address various bioethical concerns associated with the production of plant-based vaccines, including the potential transfer of allergens from transgenic plants to humans and animals. Moreover, tackling technical challenges such as formulating regulatory, like, regulatory requirements it's essential before these vaccines can be mass-produced. Furthermore, these vaccines usually require higher costs, more time for production, and better infrastructure. As a result, tackling technical difficulties could be one of the main challenges that could be focused on in the future. So here comes our um, conclusion. Ultimately, plant-based vaccines offer new opportunities to treat various neurodegenerative disorders. However, there are still a lot of challenges to overcome to have wider use of plant-derived vaccines, such as safety, economic costs, and distribution. And here are the references I used to prepare for this lecture, and a lot of them are journal articles, and they provide really helpful um, information um, me, for me to learn um, how does what does uh, how does this work and what are some really helpful experiments conducted in doing this vaccine and like do, uh, just explore the vaccine itself so yeah thank you for listening and please like and subscribe to my channel if you find this interesting i'll be producing more um interesting videos in neuroscience those like neuroscience related content and also ap psychology course content so yeah i hope it helps